Hello, YouTube. It's Alicia. I'm back. <laughs> I have been gone a really long time, and I apologize for not filming a channel update until now. So this is a channel update video. I've actually, I don't know if I've ever filmed a channel update video because I've never been gone like this. Uh, so the last video that I filmed here on the channel was in 2021 in October. So it's been almost two and a half years. Uh, I intended to come back a lot sooner. And there are a lot of reasons why I didn't. So I'd like to share a few of those with you today. So you kind of know where I've been, what's been going on with me, uh, as well as what you can expect from this channel moving forward. Uh, there are also a lot of new subscribers um, to the channel in the last few months. I had two videos go kind of semi-viral for some reason years after I published them. Uh, so if you're new here, welcome. And um, I think the first thing I want to say is even though I've been gone, like in terms of filming videos, I've been very active on the channel in terms of monitoring comments and trying to acknowledge them with a heart uh, or comment back to you, share, you know, um, answer your questions, or just say thank you for sharing. So a lot of you have been sharing um, your success stories or uh, ahas, or you've been sharing what kinds of content you want to see from me moving forward. And so many of you resonated with my video on how to release trapped emotions in the body through something like fascia release and just feeling the feelings in your body when you contact your body in that way. So I really appreciate all of the comments that flooded in on that video, uh, as well as those of you that maybe commented and said you would like to see more content like that. Um, so first of all, in a few days after this video comes out, I'm going to be launching a podcast. <laughs> so I'm very excited about that. And it's been a long time coming. I've been talking about it for at least a year, for over a year. Uh, but it's a lot of work. And so I didn't want to commit to it or put it out in the world unless I was sure I was going to see it through, um, even though it is so much work. Uh, but it's also really fun. I love talking to people. So the podcast is called The Human Freedom Project, and uh, and it's going to be published here on YouTube in video form. So it'll obviously have the audio onlys that you can subscribe to on Apple uh, and um, Spotify. Uh, we'll be uploading video, I believe, actually to YouTube and Spotify. But if you're here on the channel, you're going to see my YouTube um, videos of the podcast, the video, uh, video versions that we publish to the channel. Uh, so I'm excited about that and I hope you stay tuned for that. And I'm not going to tell you a whole lot about the podcast in this video because I'm filming the very first podcast. Uh, we'll describe what the podcast is about. So if you're curious, you can watch or listen to that. Uh, then I do plan on filming new content for YouTube in terms of just videos that I film for you that are not the podcast, just for the channel. To, t to kind of describe what those videos are going to look like, I might need to rewind and tell you why I've been gone. Uh, so there are a couple personal reasons why I have been gone from YouTube this long. But the primary reasons are not personal. They're related to my work in the world and what I want to be doing and what I was doing here on the channel that I don't want to be doing anymore. Uh, so basically what happened is that in 2021, I collapsed. I collapsed into exhaustion. I was absolutely burnt out. This happens to a lot of YouTube creators, content creators. Uh, it's like this hamster wheel content creation thing that just is always needing to be fed, or at least we think it does. Um, and then trying to keep up with the algorithm and trying to produce videos, you know, for YouTube that would get enough views that being on YouTube is even worth it, worth the time and the investment. Uh, and, and it was just not, I was exhausted, kind of chronically, um, not feeling good in my body, sitting at the computer too much, uh, standing in front of a video camera in really uncomfortable ways. And uh, and so I just had to ask myself, do, like, do I want this to be my life? Like, do I, am I enjoying this? Am I, do I even want to do this anymore? Um, and I knew I wanted to be on YouTube. I've always kind of wanted to be on YouTube going back to 2008. Um, but I wanted to come back on my terms this time. And it took me two and a half years to figure out what those terms were. 
and what kinds of content I would feel really excited about uh, publishing here on the channel. And it's not going to look anything like it did. Um, I'm not going to be publishing self fashion release videos anymore. And some of you already know that because you've emailed in asking about my course, Solving Public Instability, for example, or you know that maybe because you were subscribed to my email newsletter where I've talked a lot about that over the last year. But if you haven't been in those environments, you might not know that I stopped teaching self fashion release in 2021, not only on the YouTube channel, but period, for good. Uh, and the pri- there are two primary reasons I stopped. Um, so the courses are no longer available. I've archived them forever. And I never plan on filming another self fashion release video for YouTube ever again. Which is not to say that I don't think they were beneficial to some of you. Clearly they were. There are tens of thousands of comments thanking me, um, sharing your results and all that. And I'm really glad they're benefiting people, which is why I am leaving them on the channel for now. But the two primary reasons I stopped teaching self fashion release altogether is that number one, I was feeling out of integrity with it because it's not how I healed. It's not a part of my origin story. It's not how I resolved my chronic pain. And I was trying to help people with this thing that I didn't use myself. How I helped myself resolve the trauma stuck in my body and the chronic pain in my body, how I helped myself heal and regenerate and be able to run and hike again after eight years of knee pain uh, and so many other things was through kinetics, through stepping, getting stepped on, through partner work. Uh, which is relational in nature. And there's so much I could say about that that I won't go into in this video. But I, I began to realize in 2021 that I was teaching something that was out of integrity with what I had experienced in my body and my life, thinking I could help people achieve the same thing. And that wasn't happening. And the proof was in the fact that I had hundreds of people, over a thousand people go through my self fashion release courses who weren't getting out of pain for good. They were maybe managing their pain with the self fash release. They could keep it at bay. Um, they could get relief, but then the pain would come back. Then they would use the self fash release and they would get relief, and then the pain would come back. And I'm not satisfied with that. I don't want to do pain management and I don't do pain relief. I am a firm believer that if you want freedom, you have to turn towards pain. And if you want to resolve pain for good, you have to learn the lesson in the pain. And that's a process that I have been teaching in another course called Mind Body Breakthrough. Uh, and people got results without even doing any self fash release. So here I had this, I was watching these two groups of people go through these courses and, and the people going through the self fash release courses of mine just were, were, were they were so frustrated because they were willing to do the things that I was, you know, teaching them, self fash release and, you know, how to uh, activate their deep core and all these things. And it wasn't making their pain go away. And that makes sense to me now because basically what this process led me to do since 2019, since I started teaching courses online, is to really think deeply about this thing we call pain. I knew a lot about it before I started on you know, started teaching courses, but I've had to learn even more now that I put people through processes that weren't working online, online only. So I had to ask myself, what's been happening differently online than in my private practice, where most of my clients, like 99%, get out of pain completely. It's like completely resolved. Um, and then, so this is reason number one, I stopped teaching self fash release didn't feel in integrity with me. It wasn't how I healed. And I, and that was causing me to look at what I was teaching and why it wasn't working. But the other reason is that I don't enjoy it. I was not enjoying my life. I was not enjoying filming these videos for YouTube. I was doing it because I thought I had to, to continue to make a living because, again, I had to feed the algorithm of YouTube or, you know, because I thought, that's what you wanted. And what I have wanted this whole time going back to 2018 when I first kind of uh, went full in um, on the whole YouTube online thing is kinetics. 
is this partner work that I've been doing since 2008, that I've been full-time uh, doing in my own way since 2011, developing a methodology that is relational in nature, that is alive and dynamic and allows us to learn about ourselves and about the human body. That is, it's so different than self fasciolates it's, it's hard to describe if you've never experienced it, but those that have know how different it is. Um, and it's not to say that there aren't benefits to self fast release. I know that there are, but, but only for certain people in certain circumstances. So that's why I stopped teaching self fast release. Now, that's, that was my main reason for getting off of YouTube, but there were some personal things as well going on in my life um, that some of you know about if you were reading my email newsletters. Stefan and I, who Stefan was kind of a, a figure with me, and he's still here. We're still best friends, and he's still with me um, in these projects. But Stefan was my partner in life for six years, and we broke up in 2022. And, uh, and I was 42 at the time, and that for me meant I'm not having kids this lifetime. I'm not having a family. This man that I thought I was going to build that family with um, is not my man anymore. Our relationship is shifting and it needed to. And I really had to be, be with that, be with that pain without trying to distract myself from it with my work, with career. And so in, in the at the end of 2021, moving into that relationship dissolving and me turning towards the pain of not having kids, I just couldn't bring myself to get back on YouTube. Uh, and I really had a lot to figure out. Maybe you could call it a midlife crisis, but um, yeah, I just needed to ask myself like, what I want out of my career. Because here I am, I'm 42. You know, do I want to be teaching self fast release on YouTube when I'm 60? No, I don't. So I want to write books. I've been a writer my whole life. I love writing. That's why I've loved staying in touch with so many of you through my emails and my Substack. I want to write books. I want to, uh, you know, put out this podcast and have really good conversations with amazing people, knowledgeable people, people who think deeply like me about certain topics or the state of the world. Uh, and I want to think deeply with you. I want to have conversations on this channel that challenge us to think critically, to free our thinking from the constraints of automated thoughts or indoctrinated thoughts, the indoctrination that we're all kind of a part of because we're part of society. Uh, or because we went to certain schools, or because we heard certain things on the internet and we believed them to be true. Um, I, I want to question everything with you. I want to explore reality out loud with you. I want to learn out loud with you. Uh, and so that will be the primary type of content I will be filming for the channel, aside from the podcast. So that means, you know, um, a lot of videos that are based on topics I can contribute to based on my experience working with thousands of people in pain since 2008, as well as sharing more of my journey and how I healed from chronic pain rooted in trauma, how I healed the traumas that I've been through because I've been through uh, pretty severe traumas, including actual physical abandonment by my parents uh, when I was 10 um, and then later uh, sexual violations uh, at the hand of an adult neighbor when I was 13. Uh, so I've been through a lot and I've, I've healed and I found freedom and you can too. And so I want to share more of those stories and processes and practices that I've used to heal myself. Um, and then I want to, like I said, ask questions out loud with you about all of these topics because I think we should constantly question ourselves. I think we should challenge the assumptions we've held, uh, even if we first believe them to be true. I can't tell you how many times I have adopted a belief as if it was fact. And I thought I knew the truth, only to later realize, oh my God, I just, 
I just assumed something. I, di- I didn't think it through deeply. I didn't think it through fully. I didn't investigate it. I didn't challenge my assumption. So if that sounds good to you, then stick around. I have a lot of exciting videos planned, uh, but the first to be coming out will be the podcast. So what I'd like to share now is a few ways that you can engage with me moving forward. If you'd like to be on my email list, for example, I have a new website and I have some exciting projects that I'm launching soon, including the founding of a school called the School for Living Science and the Kinetics Academy, which will be a division of the school. So the Kinetics Academy is a school in its own right, kind of a school within a school uh, where I'm going to be teaching kinetics. But the primary thing that I'm passionate about is science, but in particular, what I'm calling living science or the scientific study of living phenomena, such as a living human being, the living, breathing human being as it is alive, not in a lab, not a cadaver, not something we're dissecting and looking at under microscopes, but like the living human being. What can we learn about ourselves in a living way? Uh, So we're going to be doing that in the school. And then in the Kinetics Academy, we're going to be utilizing partner fascia release to map the whole human organism, to map fascia, to map blood circulation patterns and the circulatory system, to map the lymph system, to map uh, the nervous system and our nervous system patterns, uh, to map our relationship to our body, to this thing called pain, to sensations, to help us understand ourselves. There will be online classes and in-person classes uh, inside um, the Kinetics Academy that you're, you're going to be able to attend, um, included in the price of membership, which I'm really excited about. So all that in- information about all that is coming soon. Uh, on AliciaCeleste.com, what you're going to find is if you want to opt in for my weekly newsletter, I have a gift for you. It's an audio, which is basically like a two-hour podcast between me and you. It's audio only, no video. Uh, and it's a deep dive into what I've learned about pain and freedom to date. Now, it's not everything because I couldn't cover that in just two hours, but it's a lot. It's a really deep dive into pain. So if you are struggling to understand what pain is, uh, why you're in pain, um, and you want to learn how to uh, develop freedom by turning towards the pain and learning from it, then that audio is available for you. We'll put all of the links in the description below this video. Uh, and then there are two other links I want to share the kinetics Academy, um, kinetics.academy. If you want to go there to get on the wait list for when that opens, uh, or the school for living science. So the main thing though, that I wanted to share was my website. And I also wanted to let you know that I'm now doing online consultations for people. If you want to get on zoom with me, uh, and go through the virtual mapping process that I'm able to do online, it's not the same as kinetics. Because I can't step on you through the internet. But I have some very effective processes that smoke you out of the cave, so to speak. Uh, smoke the truth out of, out of the fog of confusion. And will help you get to know why you're in pain and what the path to freedom might look like for you. So if you want to work with me, I have some limited availability um, on Fridays the only day that I work with clients right now, but you can go learn more and schedule those sessions on my website because I've been getting a lot of uh, questions on the YouTube channel about consultations with me. So um, more to come. I'm really excited. This video is getting very long, so I'm going to stop it here. Uh, But thanks for being here. If you have any comments or questions, you can post them in the comments below uh, comment section, and I will be seeing you very soon on the channel with new content. How you gonna get free this time? Falling into a blue sky mind Came to me in that song, my friend I just wanna go back again